Welcome, and thank you for your time and attention today. Please allow me to introduce e-yearbook. My team members who helped me work on this project were Augustine Cervantes, Armando Ramon, Leroy Grant, and I am Bobby Archambo. Now, as you know, the pandemic hit us all unexpectedly, and our lives changed overnight. My children never returned, after, returned to school after spring break. They were unable to get their yearbooks signed by their friends and instead got their yearbooks in the mail. The e-yearbook is my solution so that children like mine can get those memories that so many of us cherish today. But with so many things to worry about, I had to keep internet safety a concern, the internet safety concern in mind. So one of my contributions to e-yearbook were the security features. By utilizing Spring Boot's built-in security, Timeleaf, jQuery, and form model binding, I track who's logged in and restrict users to where they may navigate throughout the website, either through the links or the URL. Parents must register to navigate through the site and are restricted to their parent profile page until they have registered a child and then only to their child's profile page. Two more of my major contributions to this project are the yearbook design and the child functionality. Now for demonstration purposes, we're going to use a parent who's already registered. Once signed in, Mavis can go to the parent profile page and she can register her child here. But to do so, she must know her child's school issued student ID number. Parents create usernames and passwords for their children to use to log in later. Now using JPA and Java to retrieve and send information to MySQL, Mavis can now see Bobby's profile page, but we'll go there in a second. Take a look here at the yearbook dropdown. As you notice, there's no option to view a yearbook. Parents must get a purchase code from the site or they can just use this link to the school's external site. We've created a mock page for demonstration purposes. Here, they copy and paste the code, enter it on the parent profile page, and now, as you can see, Mavis is able to see a yearbook link. And if we go to Bobby's profile page, Bobby is able to access that as well. From here, I'll hand things over to Leroy. Thank you, Bobby. I'm Leroy Grant. My contribution is an initial setup of the project using Spring Boot, Spring Boot Security, and implementing MySQL database using JPAs. I also effectuated the search functionality for students utilizing Timeleaf to render cards dynamically, and I made an interactive yearbook using turn.js and jQuery. Once a user has purchased a yearbook, they can click the link in their profile to view it. With JavaScript, open source code from turn.js, and jQuery, users can fluidly flip through pages with arrow keys, buttons, and they can even grab it. Our application doesn't just connect parents with their children, but children's students to other fellow students. The search query uses controller logic with timely form binding to dynamically change cards depending on input. With this, students can find their friends based on their first name and last name. Once found, they can click the link attached to the card to visit their friend's page. From here, Armando will discuss the next feature. Thanks, Leroy. Hi, I'm Armando Roman, and I implement the FileStack API, as well as the time leaf and controller logic used to electronically sign your book and upload an image. As you can see, this student is quite popular. In keeping with real life, comments are one time and cannot be deleted. A memory to be cherished forever. I also gave the student the ability to personalize their signature page. Using the FileStack API, JavaScript, and jQuery, the student is able to select an image, upload it, and personalize their page. Now, I will show how a student is able to sign a yearbook. Once on a friend's page, the student is able to enter a comment, and using Timeleaf, the message is stored in the database and displayed on the webpage. The parent is also able to monitor these comments. 
Augustine will finish us out from here. Thank you so much, Armando. Hi, my name is Augustine Cervantes, and my contributions are wireframing, update profile functionality, styling, and the developer page. For demonstration purposes, I'm already logged in as a parent with the username of John, and here we can see another security feature of our site. With Spring Boot security, parents are restricted to just their own profile and their child's profile. They are also able to see all the comments their children have posted on other pages. So here I can see Aaron has commented on Laura's profile, saying may the force be with you this summer. Andy has commented on Mondo's profile, saying Andrew was here. And Dylan has commented on Mondo's profile, saying remember me when you're rich. Parents are also the only ones who have the ability to update their profile. Here I use Form Mono Binding and Java to allow parents to change their username, email, and password if or when they need to. So here I can change my username to John Smith, my email to John Smith, and my new password. Save, log out, and make sure my new credentials have saved, and I have logged back in with my new credentials. We use bcrypt to hash all our passwords in the site. I utilize Bootstrap to style all the pages you viewed in your yearbook. We wanted to make a fun, easy to navigate application for kids to digitally sign yearbooks. We've restricted access so parents would feel comfortable with e-yearbook and not flip out, simply flip through. Lastly, visit our about page to learn more about the team of developers who can't wait to help build your next project. We'd like to thank you again for your time and attention, and we can't wait to hear from you.